Hi Vlogerans! This, it's Jay. I'm sorry about the late update, uh, and I'm sorry I couldn't make it to Nerd Fighter Gathering last week. I've been super busy. I just finished up the last two weeks of one of my jobs, so I'm very excited about that because it frees up a lot of time for me. But it sounds like you all had a couple really good weeks, and I am super glad to hear it. By the way, that Nerd Fighter Gathering looked super fun, and I promise I will take time out to make it to the next one. Carol, you'd asked about what we should do in terms of fundraising. I don't really think there's a limit to what we could do. I think that we could throw a party with a suggested donation of $5 at the door, like a Harry Potter themed party or something, and uh, those of us who are crafty could make scarves or other related items and sell raffle tickets to raffle them off. I think we could do a casino night where you buy a certain number of chips and all of the money that you use to buy in your chips goes to charity, and then at the end of the night the people with the most money get something like a Starbucks gift card, you know, some sort of nominal prize at the end of the night. Um, I think that we could do an online craft auction. Maybe instead of a Harry Potter party, we could do some sort of tra time travelers convention. If with any sort of party or group setting, we can set up a concessions stand where all of the money that doesn't go to pay back for the food that we already bought goes to whatever charity we decide to organize money for. Um, there are a bunch of ways to do fundraising online and in real life, and I'm sure if we got together and really looked into it, we could do a bunch of really cool stuff. Like I said in my last video, I think it would be really fun if we got the juniors in on it, and made it a lighthearted competition to see who can raise more money. Apart from those ideas, it's been a really long day and my brain's kind of fried, so I can't come up with anything else right now. But I would love to hear any other any other suggestions, and I think this is something we should definitely talk about. Carol had also mentioned maybe doing a topic of the week, and I think in this next cycle of videos, everybody should talk about what they're reading or a book that they have already read this year. Um, I've read a few books this year, but one of my favorites is um, Ms. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. If you haven't heard about this book, it's a young adult novel, um, but it's it's peculiar. Um, there are old found photographs that have been integrated into the storyline. They're really quite fantastic, and I would recommend this book to anyone. Also, it's just a beautifully light, laid out book. It's smaller than I expected it to be. Um, there's my hand for scale for some reason, and like that helps you judge how big the book is. Um, but it, it has a good weight to it, and also um, the paper that the book is lined with is just beautiful. And this is something that I care about in books. I like books to be pretty on my shelf. Um, I collect comic books, I collect graphic novels, and so pretty things that I can put on a shelf are just fantastic. Other than that, I'm reading Neuromancer by William Gibson. I'm not far enough into it to have any sort of impression of it yet, but if you're interested I'll tell you what I think when I finish the book. My goal this year is to read 75 books, graphic novels count as one half of a book, and so far I've read nine. So I'm keeping a pretty good pace, I need to speed it up a little bit for the month of February, but I read eight in January and I think that's pretty good. I am still working on my Thoughts from Places Albuquerque video from the Tour de Nerd Fighting. I should have it up by about five o'clock in the morning if my computer stops being a raging jerk. Um, I will put a link right there when I've finished it, and I will also post it on the Colorado Nerdfighters um, Facebook page. So look out for that if you want to see some footage from the tour to nerdfighting in Albuquerque. Other than that, I am really tired, and I'm just going to edit this video and edit the other video and then go to bed, because I have to work in the morning. So I will see you guys in two weeks.